Just give me a bag, I'll make you a million, I promise I'll do it myself. Hey guys, it's Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys those new Butterick patterns that just dropped today. Okay, so I'm just gonna be sharing those with you guys. I am behind the scene because I just made it home and my head hurts, but we're gonna get through it because that's not an excuse for me not to do this, all right? But if you're new to the channel, oh, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sabanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you are returning, you guys know what to do. Go get your quick snack, something to drink, grab those notebooks while you're at it, and come on back so we can go ahead and get into it. So to keep this short, sweet, to the point, but give you the deets and the news that you can use on this video, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so from looking at the website, there's about 14 patterns that are not kit patterns that Butterick just dropped today. So we're gonna share those with you guys, and I, I think there's only one, actually there's two or three patterns that are similar, but one of the patterns, I remember the number, the other two, I don't remember the number off the top of my head, but these are similar patterns, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the first one, which is Butterick 6973. This pattern is a pair of pants by Palmer and Pletch. So a lot of the patterns in this drop are Palmer and Pletch, I also looked at the Palmer and Pletch website that they have and I was not able to find like a dupe or a reissue or anything of the pattern. So I think they did a good job with changing up the description, but yeah, if you know, you know. All right, so this one is a pair of wide leg trousers and crop pants that have couture waistband, fly front zipper, the slash uh, pockets, front pleats details, and a back dart for this one. It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it comes in two pattern envelopes, eight to 16 and then 18 to 24 on this pattern. Now me personally, I like the wide leg pants. View A is what I would be going for. I like the crop pants too, but because I work in an environment, an office environment, I would probably do the long sleeve, the, not the long sleeve, the long pants instead of the crop pants for me. But let's go ahead and get into fabric. In terms of fabric, you will need some type of, you know, wool type fabric or gabardine, linen, crepes, poplin would be nice. Twill would also be nice as well. But this pattern right here is Butterick 6973. Now I'm not gonna see, say Butterick throughout it, every single pattern because all of them are butter it. But let's get into the next pattern. The next pattern is 6974. It is a shirt dress and you guys know I love a good shirt dress. This is a Palmer and Pletch shirt dress as well. It's a classic fit shirt dress. It has bust start, it has front waist starts as well, back darts and sleeve variation. This is also a Palmer and Pletch pattern. It is an average to sew pattern in terms of sizing. There's two pattern envelopes, eight to 16, the first one, and 16 to 24 on this one. In terms of the fabrics that you can use, I would say any type of fabric of your choosing, whether that's cotton, cotton blends, gabardines, linen, crepe, or even double knits, knits, just to name a few. But once again, it is a shirt dress with sleeve variations. Now me personally, I don't think I would pick this pattern up, but you know, if you like this style, by all means do so. Let's go ahead and get into the next pattern. So this pattern, the next pattern is 6975. It is pretty much what we call a coordinate pattern. Back in the days, Butterick used to have this thing called a lifestyle wardrobe. So this is what that pattern is. And this pattern is a jacket pattern, knit top, dress, and pants. So the jacket has front patch pockets, collar, and top stitching. It also features a slim fit knit top and dress that have the raglan sleeves and the band and then the pants, which is view D and E, have fly front back darts and a couture waistband with hook and eyes if you choose to use the hook and eyes. And then view D is capri length pants with side slits. Now y'all know I don't like those side slits, so you know, do what you feel. But you can do every single item on this pattern and get you a really good look. It is an average to sew pattern it does come in two pattern envelopes, eight to 16, and then 16 to 24 on that second envelope. Now, in terms of fabric, you can use any type of fabric of your choosing. They're still uploading pictures on the website, so we don't have like the back of the pattern or anything from the website 
from simplicity.com website. Also, this pattern is a dupe of a older Palmer and Pletch pattern, which is McCall's 4842. I know simply because I have that pattern as well, and this is pretty much like the exact same dupe of the same pattern as well. So this pattern, six, Butterick 6975, is a reissue of McCall's 4842, all right? If you have that pattern, you don't need to get this one, all right? Moving over to the next pattern, it's Butterick 6976. Now this pattern is a straight wrap dress and top. It has bands, darts, tie closure, and can be long sleeve or short sleeve. It has straight leg pants. It has elastic waist and stitched hem as well. Once again, this is a Palmer and Pletch pattern. In terms of like the pattern sizing, I guess skill level is rated as easy. Um, it does look like it could be easy. You know, I don't see nothing that would trip you up in the pattern and the line arts. But in terms of the sizing, it's two pattern sizings, eight to 16 and then 14 to 22 on that second pattern. Let's talk fabric. In terms of fabric, any fabric of your choosing, chali, chambray, crepe, linen, soft cotton, double knit, just to name a few for this pattern. But once again, it's 69.76. Now, I know this is a dupe of another McCall's pattern. However, I could not think of it off the top of my head. So yeah, but I'll, I mean, what I'll do is if I find the pattern, I will definitely put the dupe in the description box below so you are aware, all right? Moving over to the next one is 6977, which is a loose fitted tier type dress. Um, this reminds me of a shirt dress, but also a tiered shirt dress. It reminds me of the pattern that came out fall 2022. Um, it's a lady with like an orange on and all they did was pretty much extend it to make it a different look. If I remember the pattern number, I'll put it up on the screen because right out the, actually I do remember that pattern number. It's uh, Butterick 6897 was that pattern number. So for me, what it looks like is they took that pattern, extend the bodice portion, and then just kind of like add some length to the uh, tiers or whatnot. But this pattern, long fitted, tiered hem dress, it have pointed collars, collar band, face yoke, front bands with the button closure and set in sleeve with the elastic hem as well. Now view A has like a matching sash if you want to do that sash as well. Now this pattern is rated as easy. And if you have buttons on something, it's not necessarily easy for a true beginner, but you know, if you know, you know, right? In terms of sizing, it's two pattern sizes. The first one is six to 14 and that second one is 16 to 24. Let's talk fabric. Fabric options are your Shea Muse, your cotton shirt and linen blend, um, sheer fabric if you choose to do that as well. But once again, it's 69.77. Moving over to the next one is 69.78. This is a cape top and pant pattern. Now this pattern reminds me of a Vogue cape that came out last year. I don't remember the pattern number off the top of my head. But if I figure it out, I will put, you know, that in the description box below. Um, but this is a line cape. It has the stand up collar, side front pocket, side opening, concealed sew on snap closure and length variation. Now it's also loose fitted top has like the purchase bias facing. It also features side slits in him variation as well. In terms of the pants, which is view E, you have uh, they used ribbon as the waistband facing. It has waist dart and also has an invisible side zipper. Now they say, you know, it has hook and eye closure, but what I would say is take that zipper all the way up to the top, put your facing on and you're good to go. And I don't like faces that's just kind of like a ribbon facing. I prefer a waistband. That's just me, but I feel this is would be a really good wardrobe builder pattern. But once again, it's 69.78. In terms of skill level, it's easy to sew. In terms of the pattern envelopes, it's two pattern envelopes, 10 to 18, and then 20 to 28 W. All right. 
So that's what this pattern is. Um, you can use any fabric of your choosing. So let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you have your satin, your wool blends, your sateen, your twills, your crepe, any type of fabric of your choosing. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. The next pattern is 6979, which is a jacket. Now I love this jacket. This jacket reminds me of a jacket I already have from Butterick. Um, I, I can't think of the number to be honest with you. Um, I, I see it in my head, but I, for this one, I really cannot think of the exact pattern number. It came out in 2021 is what I can tell you, but yeah, that, that's what I could tell you. I, <laughs> I can't tell you the actual pattern number right off the top of my head without actually looking in my stash for it. All right. But this is a fitted line jacket to have princess seams, concealed front zipper closure, inseam front pockets, the set in sleeves, and different length variations. Now this one has view A are your long sleeve, view B is what they call like seven eight sleeve instead of your three fourth sleeve. But the sleeves also have pleat and button details as well. It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes. The first one is eight to 16, and the second one is 18 to 26 on that second envelope. Now let's talk fabrics. In terms of fabric, you can use brocades, denim, gabardine, linen, wool blends, just to name a few um, for this one as well. But once again, it is your Mrs. Uh, jacket. And when I'm editing this video, if I could figure out the pattern that is a dupe, of course, I will definitely put it up on the screen for you to see that as well. All right. But once again, it's $69.79. Moving over to the next one, it's a woman's shirt, a Mrs. and woman's shirt. So this shirt is a semi fitted shirt. It has the neck band, collar, face yoke, front and back darts. It also have your front button closure, which is like that asymmetrical. Um, button closure, which I, which is one of the things that I like about this pattern. It has the long set in sleeves, ending in the button cuffs as well with the placket opening and button sleeves tabs as well as the stitch hem as well. Um, in terms of the skill level, it says it's easy to sew, but y'all know how I feel. If it has buttons, to me, I don't feel like it's uh, easy to sew if it has buttons, because if you're new to sewing, you're probably not doing buttons right now. You're probably still doing elastic if that, right? So I don't feel like this pattern would be easy. Yeah, it may be easy to sew if you already have some, you know, background in sewing, but if you have never done buttons and you're new to sewing, I would say it would be average to sew for you. But if you have been doing buttons and buttonholes and all that and zippers and stuff, it may be easy for you, all right? In terms of sizing, two pattern envelopes, 10 to 18 and 20 to 28W. Um, in terms, let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you can use any type of fabric of your choosing, chambray, uh, chemise, linen blends, poplin, just to name a few of the patterns. Um, I'm sorry, in terms of the fabrics that you can use. Moving over to the next pattern. It is a Catherine Tilton pattern or art, if you notice that. Um, this is a Mrs. Top pattern, easy, functional, tunic style top. Um, so there is two sleeve options. So you have a sleeveless option, which is view A, and then view B is your three fourth sleeve option. Um, you also have kind of like a high low hem from what I see from the line art as well, or I'm not sure how they form that, but it looks really good. So the detail includes a low front band, the back goaded, um, band neckline and a handkerchief hemline top B has the contrast where you could color block as well, which I like that detail. So when I seen this, I was just like, oh, okay, I like that color block, but yeah, that's what it is. It is rated as an easy to sew pattern. It comes in one size fit all kind of thing where it's one pattern envelope, extra small to extra, extra large. Now this one right here in terms of fabric, you're going to need some form of your knit fabric, your cotton knits, jersey knits. Those are the knits that you will need for this pattern. All right. Once again, it's 69.81. Moving over to the next one is 69.82, which is a pair of jeans as well as a tunic. So this is a two piece. Love it. I love the top, which was probably what I'm going to make sometime this year. 
but this one is a very loose fitting pullover tunic. It has the stand up collar. The neckline is gathered. Um, it also features that front slit neck opening, opening raglan sleeve ending in the button cuffs with the, now this one has a continuous lap, you know, where the continuous lap is where you have that button cuff. So just make sure you know that it has a continuous lap. Um, it, the, in terms of the pants, which are uh, view C and D, it has, it's like a fitted boot cut jean that have the couture waistband, the um, pockets, belt loops, back yoke, fly front zipper. Um, so basically you're going to need some form of a jean if you're gonna do the pants. Um, so basically you need to be using some heavy duty thread for your top stitching as well. In terms of the skill level, it's rated as average. Um, in terms of the pattern sizing, it comes in two pattern envelopes, eight to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the next uh, pattern envelope. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, now if you're doing the top, which is view A or view B, you can use any type of woven fabric like your cottons, linen, poplins, or sateen. However, if you are doing the pants, you wanna use something that stretch a little bit, like a stretch woven, a denim would be good, a linen, a twill, something like that for the jeans, okay? So just note that when you, if you plan on doing this pattern, you're gonna need a stretchy fabric for the jeans, all right? But once again, this is $69.82. Let's move over to the next pattern. The next pattern is $69.83. Now you guys, y'all all know that this is a dupe of a pattern that was released, I wanna say 2022 fall time. And how I know is because this was one that I want to say it was T from Crumpet Tea and Sewing. I think she was the one who actually sewed this pattern up. I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe it was Alex from A Mason Lifestyle sewed this pattern up. And I believe Alex was the one who actually did a um, sew along for this pattern. Now, I don't remember the pattern number. My bad. Okay. I know, I know I'm pretty good with pattern numbers, but when it comes to Butterick patterns, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember all the pattern numbers because I don't look at Butterick a lot in terms of sewing them up, okay? No shade to Butterick whatsoever. I like Butterick patterns, but I do not go through my Butterick pattern drawer as much as I do with Simplicity and McCall. So, I could see the pattern and what's the details, but in terms of pretty much just like knowing it off the top of my head, like new look, simplicity, macaws. I just don't remember <laughs> exactly the pattern number. All right. But this one right here is a Mrs. Dress. It can be worn as a dress or a cover up or kind of like a tiered dress as well. So it is more like a tiered hem dress fitted through the bust and have the front and the back neck facing and bust darts as well. Now, in terms of view A, you have that sleeveless dress, button front. Um, so basically because the sleeveless, make sure you know that you're gonna be using some bias tape. It has like a bias armhole facing. And then view B, it has like a concealed snap front closure. It has the short flared sleeves and purchase trim as well. It is an easy to sew pattern from what it says, but y'all know how I feel if it has buttons. I don't know how easy it is to sew, but only you know. In terms of pattern sizing, it's extra small to extra, extra large on this pattern envelope. Let's talk fabric, y'all. So in terms of the fabric, any fabric of your choosing, cotton blends, cotton flannels, broadcloth, um, chalets, sateen, you get my drift. So once again, it's $69.83. Moving over to the next pattern, it is basically a unisex shirt, shorts, and pants pattern. Another, like for this one, I would say this would be good for your spring summertime for sure. Um, but it's a loose fitted camp collar shirt, okay? Um, it has forward shoulder seams, patch pockets, button flaps, side slits, um, stitched hem for sure. Now, in terms of the shorts and the pants, it has pleated, so the shorts and the pants have pleats. Um, so, and the, it sits about an inch below the waist. It have fly front zipper, side seam pockets, belt loops, batch pack, 
patch pockets if you choose to do that as well. But once again, it is $69.84. In terms of the skill level, it's an average to sew pattern. And in terms of the pattern envelope, it's only one pattern envelope and that's extra small to extra large. So it's not size, uh, it's not size inclusive, but I mean, there's so many button down shirt patterns, shorts and pants patterns, but yeah, I think I would pass on this one to be honest, but I might pick it up because you know, I could do so many looks with just, you know, you know, just this pattern. So yeah, let's talk fabrics in terms of the fabric, any type of woven fabric, broadcloth, uh, chambray, just to name a few in terms of that top. And then for the pants, you can use twill, you can use gabardine, denim, just to name a few of the things that you could do in terms of the pants or the shorts, okay? So let's move over to the next pattern. The next one is a vintage retro 1970s pattern. Now this is considered a wrap and go dress. Now I have this pattern in my head and I think it's butter at 4790. Don't quote me on the pattern. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I see the wrap thing in my head. And I know I looked at this pattern when I did vintage Vember, vintage Vember last year. And I believe that was like a walk away wrap dress. I'm going to put the pattern up on the screen and it may not be the exact same thing, but I'm pretty sure it is. And when I say I'm pretty sure, you know, my third eye is not lying to me right now, but I believe, if I believe correctly, Butterick 4790, I don't think that that was in the 70s. If I remember correctly, it was like in the 50s. So it may not be the exact dupe, but it looks the same. Okay, so let's get into this pattern. It is a Butterick Vintage 1970s wrap and go dress. It's semi-fitted, it is sleeveless, it also features a scoop neckline. Um, just make sure that you know you're gonna have to purchase the fold over braid finish extending into the front weight tie. So basically it's gonna have that fold over braid finish for sure. Um, so one thing that it mentions is this pattern has three main pattern pieces. It has no buttons, no zippers, no snap. Ha <laughs> ha, it wraps. Y'all remember when I did the <laughs> no notions? Listen, no notions. Those are all notions. So this one is a no notion pattern. So it's no buttons, no zippers, and no snaps. It wraps, okay? So all you gotta do is just slip it on, wrap and tie in front, and you are all set, good to go in and out the dough. So like they say, this is a vintage reproduction pattern. So if this is a reproduction pattern, pattern what pattern is this? Comment, chime off in the comment section below to let me know because I think that this is butter at 47.90, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put it up on the screen side by side so you guys can see, and you guys let me know what you think, all right? So it may not be a, the exact dupe, but if you could find the dupe, comment below and let me know so I can put it in the description box below, all right? And the last pattern is Butter 6986, which is a Mr. Skirt, by the way. Once again, it's a wrap and go skirt. Once again, no notion, no zippers, no buttons, no darts, no snaps, no, none of that, okay? <laughs> so this one is a 1970s vintage wrap and go skirt. Now, one thing I wanna say about these vintage patterns, how many of y'all noticed that they've been like really diving into the 1970s as the reproduction patterns. Did, didn't you guys just notice that? So I've been noticing that with a lot of the Butterick and Simplicity vintage patterns, it basically features a lot of patterns from the 70s, some from the 80s as well, but they are really going hard for the 70s right now, all right? But this dress, I'm not dressed, but this skirt is a flared skirt. It has the back wrap skirt. It's a back wrap skirt. It hits below the mid knee length. It has pockets, um, ends, side, front seams, waistband with the attached narrow ties and top stitch trim. It mentions it's an easy to sew pattern and this pattern only is two pattern bases. Once again, let me tell you, it's no zippers, no buttons, no snaps, no darts. Yes, it's more like kind of like a wrap dress, okay? So you just slip it on, wrap and tie, and you'll, you're set and go in and out the door. But once again, this is an authentic 
vintage reproduction pattern. It's just, you got to find that old pattern. I don't know what pattern this would be, but yeah. Let's talk pattern sizing. So in terms of pattern sizing, it's one envelope. And I'm going to say this pattern is not size inclusive. It's just extra small, too large on this pattern. Okay. Now in terms of the fabrics that you can use, so let's talk fabric. So the fabrics that you can use is any type of soft fabric, such as your cottons, broadcloth, chambray, double knit, crepe, just to name a few of those fabrics. All right. So those are all the fabrics. I'm sorry. Those are all the patterns that dropped today for the butter drop. Tell me what's your thoughts on these. I can see myself picking up a few of them. Not a lot of them. Not all 14. I don't think I'll pick up all 14, but I see about four that I would potentially pick up. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below on what is your thoughts about this collection? Good, bad, indifferent. What's your thoughts? All right. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And since you made it this far, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. Also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. My friends just like my sins, they all forgotten, oh. Cause they started folding like them blue bills in my wallet, yeah. Okay. Can't complain when it comes with pain. I've been through it. They don't understand for me to die is gain. I ain't